Hi everyone. Today's topic is custom properties in Spring Boot. So in this topic, we will cover uh, first of all, we will cover custom properties in uh, application or properties. Then the custom properties in different properties file other than the application dot properties. Then we'll cover the multiple custom properties file. Uh, that if we have more than one uh, properties file other than the application dot properties, then we'll cover if our uh, properties have multiple prefixes. And uh, lastly, we'll cover at the value notation. So let's get to the first topic. That is custom properties and application dot properties. So let's see. I have uh, two properties in my application dot properties which are not Spring uh, properties, which are my own properties which I want to use in my application. Okay. So for that, I will have a class uh, which I will annotate as a configuration. And in that configuration, I will specify what is my prefix for that property. So here I will see what is my prefix for that property is uh, the uh, the word my. So in over here I will be prefixing. I will be specifying my as a prefix over here, and the property names over here as a property one as a member variable over here okay so here i will be putting the kettles and settles for this so for an example how i have uh, used them as uh, so for this class application or properties which i have made which i have made a configuration about so for that application or properties i have mentioned it as a auto wire and i have used this application properties as a get property 1 and get property 2 so let's remove this these logs uh, and i will and i will start my program over here as a java application so my program has started i have removed the logs And here I have I'm calling this API that is API slash data and let's see what happens yeah so our uh, so our custom properties are logged over here so what I notice over here is application dot properties is a file and I'm using my Java class as application properties class so there is no relation between uh, the class name over here and the application property uh, application or properties file so over here if I change my uh, application or property class name so there will be no effect over here in the uh, in our code so let me change it as uh, prop app prop So my configuration class of application properties is now changed and over here in my controller also I am I am now using app properties class and I have auto wired the same thing. Okay, I will uh, stop my server, clear the logs, I will start my application again. Here it is, it has started. And I will do a call for this application. Both the properties have been loaded. So there is no relation between the application or properties file and the uh, class which loads them. You just need to mention the prefix over here which are being loaded in the application or pro properties file. So after after custom properties and application or properties, uh, let's go to the next topic. Custom properties in different properties file. So here I have a properties file whose name is custom dot properties. So this is not a common uh, application or properties file. This is something which I have made for my application. 
So here I have a property named name with a prefix of custom. So here in custom properties class, I have annotated it with property source uh, with the class path as custom dot properties. Okay. So in this way, you can register your custom properties file. And here you can mention as uh, discussed earlier also the prefix of that uh, property which you want to load. So here I want to load name from the custom dot properties file. So I'm going to put the property name over here and the prefix over here. And uh, this should load my property. And let's use this property somewhere so that uh, we can see if everything is working fine. So in the same way, so we need to auto wire this custom properties class. So here I am just uh, printing it and uh, let's check if it is working or not. Let's put our server on. So my server is on and let's check if it is working. Yeah, so this, this is how it is over here and it says uh, name is Namrata which is the value of this properties. After custom properties in different properties file, so we need to see the topic of multiple custom properties file. So for multiple custom properties file, let's uh, say we have a person property over here. And in the person property, I have a property's uh, prefix as custom and uh, the property name as surname. So here this file, you can load it into a separate uh, Java file as we discussed earlier. Or you can combine this property file loading with the custom property file loading. So for the combined loading of the properties file, we have property sources annotation which contains multiple property source annotations which where you can get the uh, path of your properties file okay so here you can see i'm loading the person of properties and the prefix of that properties file is also custom and the property mentioned over there is surname so similarly as we did earlier, we are just going to uh, put a string variable in the class and a getter setter. So this should load my uh, properties, uh, person not properties file and get those uh, properties file in this variable. name. So uh, in my controller, let's see how I have implemented. So the person properties file will be mentioned in the custom properties dot get surname uh, method. Okay, so let's see how it works. I'm putting on my server. Okay, my server is on. And this is my API. Let's execute it. So here you can see my property is loaded properly. After multiple custom properties file, let's see how we can configure multiple prefix in one properties file. So here I have one properties file as mentioned earlier, the person dot properties file in where we had a custom dot surname as a property. Everywhere we have kept custom as a property uh, prefix. So what if the prefix changes? The custom uh, is no more a prefix and uh, the prefix becomes a custom dot product is the prefix now. So in that case, uh, you will need to have a separate property set up for that. So here you can see there is a configuration properties uh, of uh, custom product properties that are declared separately for uh, custom, dot uh, custom dot product. So here you can see that uh, I have custom product properties uh, declared separately. So here is my controller. I am uh, importing it. Uh, I am auto wiring the custom product properties over here. And I am just doing a sysout for it. 
So let's start our server. So my server is up. Let's remove the logs and call the API. So here you can see that uh, the properties uh, file with different prefix is also loaded. So let's see if we don't load this properties file, then will our uh, property will get uh, loaded in the pro uh, program. Okay, so I'm just removing it and starting the server again. Okay, the server is started. This, so it is still loading. So it doesn't matter from where you are loading the property file. You just have to uh, have the prefix uh, as a, in a different different file, and that will work for you. After multiple prefix in one properties file, let's see what is at the rate value annotation. So for add the rate uh, value annotation that is uh, custom dot new properties. So this is entirely different uh, prefix for us in our project. And uh, let's see how to load load it and how it is related to add the rate value annotation. To load this custom uh, property, I am uh, placing it into the person dot properties uh, file and uh, i'm loading this file in custom properties.java file okay so here the file is getting loaded but how to get the property yeah so here in my controller you can see i have a new property member of the class my controller and for that i have used the add rate value annotation and written the property name over here in curly braces with dollar. So this is a syntax to how you place your pro uh, property uh, if you want it directly uh, to be uh, present from properties file. So what values does is it gets all the values whichever you mention in the dollar curly braces from the loaded properties file. Uh, let's see and uh, see how it is printed. Okay, so I'm putting my server on. Yeah, so my server is on now. And here is my postman. And I'm doing a request. So, here you can see my new property value has been loaded from person.properties file. Okay, so let's do one thing and comment it. So I'm putting my server up again. Okay, so here what does the server say? So custom dot new dot property is not found. So whichever property you are putting in the at the rate value annotation, it has to be present in one of the loaded properties file. So if I uncomment it and start the server. It will start working again. So this is more or less a basic idea about how to work with properties file and how to load properties file in the memory for Spring Boot projects. So if you have any comments or thoughts about it or any questions about it, so please uh, post it in the comment section and uh, uh, do like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.